Between the pages of an ever-shifting eternal text known as the Patosphere, a coven of psychedelic fiction fanatics and a duo of agents working for a private intelligence firm known as the Geist LLC navigate their ways simultaneously through a labyrinthian pilgrimage to the old haunts of their favorite thought form, a cult classic weird fiction author named Rocco Atlaby, who may or may not be both creator and destroyer of their world. Along the way, the coven and the duo encounter undulating tentacles, a magical Parisian apartment, gobs and gobs of gooey living information known as plasmate, a smoke-filled Rocco-themed bar, the inexplicably resurfaced lost footage of a Rocco docutainment film, a music festival that evolves into an amorphous megabeast, and skeleton keys to the secrets of their actuality in the form of enigmatic pieces of Rocco Adelby's iconography. Hi social media users. This is Autumn Levi, founding order of the Cacti member and author of Zap Town, speaking. This is what I have to say about Necromancer's Theremin. What Griffin and Key have crafted here is both a tribute to psychedelic, postmodern, and cut-up fiction and a piece of highly original, imaginative, spellbinding fiction. How to play a Necromancer's Theremin is a weird lit superimposition that takes the reader to the very edge of the ineffable. This trailer shall end. Yes. And. Now, has it ended? I'm craving bait.